we have Mark's IC7300 and we've installed the AC Mod 7 with the external controls on the top panel and we're about to give it a little test run. This radio is brand new, out of the box, directly from RF Engineering and he wanted it to arrive sounding just right. We're going to go ahead and try out all the basic functions to make sure everything's okay when the radio arrives, including the SD card. So let's go ahead and test out the receiver. Let's put the antenna on. This is a antenna is not the antenna is not tuned properly for this band. But let's see if there's something out there. So, receiver's working fine. Let's go ahead and test out the SD card. And I um, believe we go to menu. Let's see, set. SD card. Uh, SD card info. Format. Format it. Menu. Spain. And somebody's answering him back. Conditions are open up in 20 meters. Okay, so now let's go ahead and test out the transmit. I'm going to test it here. 27205. And um, we're going to turn all of our AC mod controls counterclockwise. And we're going to go ahead and transmit. And um, we're going to go ahead and race up our carrier. Just one watt right there. That's just about right. And um, we're going to go ahead and uh, generate a tone now. And right there you can see 
we have our modulation envelope starting to form and now uh, we have two watts on the bird uh, but we need more modulation to reach our 99 percent negative peaks so we'll race up our modulation control until we see this trough as low as it can go to the zero volt line without flattening out so we'll raise up the modulation a little more a little more about there let's uh, take a closer look and there you see your modulation envelope at 100 percent modulation which gives you your four watts right there on the bird uh, now somebody asked about um, putting a dual trace oscilloscope I guess they don't believe the reproduction or whatever that we're doing uh, over the air so uh, let's stop transmitting and we'll go like this transmit we'll set the audio source from the output of the inbox too many and <clears throat> we'll go ahead and there's your audio source now we transmit and you have your transmission and your audio input we need more audio on the modulation so we have to increase our audio till we reach our 99 percent peaks and now we add the asymmetry and as you can see your peaks on your RF signal your positive peaks go beyond 100 to 200 percent modulation there we set the um, asymmetry control so that it does not exceed 200 percent to avoid sounding incorrectly in the air and um, there you have it dual trace we'll take up uh, the second channel bring this back down and we'll show you the asymmetry on the positive peaks you can see 200 percent modulation and your negatives they stay at 99 uh, and you can also hear the difference the signal is being received right now on an IC706 MK2G ICOM radio so there you have it that's your uh, AM modulation right there alright let's stop transmitting now Sideband, sideband, we'll go ahead and uh, kill the audio, transmit, and uh, we'll generate the tone, as you can see we have too much power, and we gotta go back to the dummy load, back to the dummy load, and we'll go ahead and transmit, and we'll generate the tone transmit as you can see let's uh, adjust our scope here that's our sideband audio envelope there it is and as you change the frequency here on the uh, Pro Tools of the audio generator we're gonna see the roll off that's 100 Hertz 99 Hertz Let's see if we can get some volume error that is uh, 50 Hertz right there that is 372 Hertz and after 
four kilohertz it rolls off completely uh, let's go ahead and stop transmitting and now we're going to do a small voice test to check out the TX audio okay so here we are and uh, we're transmitting with the IC7300 and the AC Mod 7 and um, we have it set for a 2 watt dead key at the moment no asymmetry and uh, we're looking at uh, 2 watt dead key swinging to about 8 watts test 1, 2, 3 this is the um, um, IC7300 and it sounds uh, pretty good audio test 1, 2 there we have our 100% modulation and we have our uh, actual audio signal going into the AC mod and that's our RF envelope so that's what it looks like somebody said that um, they wanted to see that so there it is anyhow we're gonna go ahead and do some recordings on Vegas and uh, try it out let's go ahead and start a signal generator and uh, there you have it now we have the audio mixed in with the tone that's why you see how I'm distorting the tone when I speak but you have your audio input and there you have your RF envelope so that is uh, let's take out the tone altogether <clears throat> that's your two divisions for your reference okay two gradients uh, right there so now when you generate the tone you raise up your uh, your modulation level first of all we have asymmetry so let's take the asymmetry completely down and just leave it like that and now bring up the audio modulation until we hit 100% right there so if you look at the bird no tone you got 2 watts when you modulate you got almost 9 watts As you can see you're a little past the 100% modulation mark there you can bring back down until it's exactly at 100% and it'll give you your 8 watts here on the bird 2 times 4 8 watts 100% modulation if you want more louder audio increase uh, no not that one see you don't want that I increased my audio and that's what you would normally get on another regular radio that has no asymmetrical control so you have that flat line that's no good so go back to where it's nice and rounded and if you want loudness increase your asymmetry let me stabilize this there you can raise up your asymmetry it's uh, 200 and change 250 250 percent positive peaks back down to almost 100 gonna go down a little bit more and that's 100 percent exactly beautiful envelope your audio in your modulation envelope out so we'll stop transmitting and we'll do a little recording we're gonna record from the um, from IC706 MK2G and we'll, get, we'll be recording here on Vegas okay so this is the audio coming out of the IC706 MK2G and we're transmitting with the ICOM IC7300 now we'll go ahead and uh, test out some other things before we pack it and um, the radio is just as it came from factory so um, you know, I'll let uh, Mark uh, put the uh, the waterfall display and all the good stuff on there. We'll leave it stuck as it is. So there you have it, the AC Mod 7 alongside the IC7300 Hi-Fi Audio.